Friends, greetings to everyone. Today, we will discuss the story of an unusual survival, the story of Jacob Miller, who was shot in the head during the Civil War in the United States. Jacob participated in the Battle of Chickamauga on the side of the North. During the battle, a bullet flew into his head, but he managed to survive. Here is how he described these events. After I was shot, my company left their position. They left me to die. After some time, I regained consciousness and found myself behind Confederate lines. I didn't want to be captured, so I used my rifle as a crutch and managed to sneak through the Confederate troops and get out of the battle. I think I was so covered in blood that the soldiers I encountered didn't even realize they were facing a Union soldier. I managed to reach the road, but by that time, my head had swollen so much that I could only see by lifting the eyelid of my right eye with my finger. I would lift it slightly, take a few steps forward, and then repeat the process. Eventually, I collapsed on the side of the road. The passing medics put me on a stretcher and carried me to the hospital. A nurse came and applied a wet bandage to my wound and wrapped it around my head. Then she gave me a flask of water. The surgeons examined the wound and decided that it was best not to operate. They believed that I wouldn't last long and there was no point in causing me more pain. So the nurse took me back to the tent. I slept for a while and the next morning, the doctors made a list of the wounded and announced that all the wounded would be sent to Chattanooga. Looking at me, the doctor said that I had suffered a too serious injury and was not transportable. I made the decision to drag one leg after another and walk. I quietly slipped out of the tent and sat on the wagons by the road. Opening my eye with my finger, I tried to orient myself on the road. I walked along the road, away from the sound of cannons and rifles, and then lay down on the side. Wagons carrying the wounded to Chattanooga passed by me. One of the drivers asked if I was alive and said that he could pick me up since one of the wounded in his wagon had died. Once inside the wagon, I lost consciousness and woke up in Chattanooga. Inside a long building where hundreds of other wounded lay on the floor. Some were talking, some were groaning, and I sat up, took the flask and wet my head and heard familiar voices of soldiers from my company. They couldn't believe it was me. They. We joined together and soon an order came for all the wounded. We had to cross the river on a pontoon bridge to a hospital where we would be treated and taken to Nashville. I told my comrades that if they helped me, I would be able to make it. When we arrived, I was able to eat for the first time in two days. After the meal, we collapsed on a pile of blankets and rested well. The next morning, a medic approached us and asked if we needed help. It was the first time my wound was cleaned and dressed by a surgeon. We traveled by wagon to Bridgeport. Due to the strong shaking, my head started to hurt a lot and I had to get out and walk with my comrades. After four days, we reached Bridgeport and then we took the train to Nashville. I woke up in the hospital. In all the hospitals I was in, I begged the surgeons to operate on my head, but they all refused. Only after nine months of suffering, I finally managed to convince two doctors to operate on the wound and they removed the bullet. However, there are still fragments left in Jacob's forehead. Here is what he says. 17 years after my injury, a piece of shrapnel came out of the wound on my head and 31 years later, two lead fragments came out. Some ask how I can describe my injury and leaving the battlefield in such detail. After so many years, my answer is this. I have a daily reminder of my wound and a constant headache that never subsides except during sleep. That day is imprinted in my brain. I am telling this not to complain about my suffering and not to blame anyone for my misfortune. The government treats me well and pays me a pension of $1.40 per month. Jacob was also awarded the Medal of Honor for his bravery. Please don't forget subscribe to my channel.